What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Nicola Espresso, and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video here today. This one, we're going to be talking about the backstory to multiplayer. Yes, there is one of those, and what exactly it is here, and why our specialists are all connected, why they're all in this together. Now, firstly, a huge shout out to Hyperbromite over on the Black Ops 3 subreddit. He compiled all of the specialist transmissions, including the ones from the hero challenges, and detailed it all out for the backstory of our main characters. So, from there, we can actually take a look at the hidden story of multiplayer and we can take a look at how it's surprisingly a neat little spin-off that has a lot of connections directly to multiplayer but also is this alternate little bubble in the story's universe for campaign so it's quite cool how it actually all does work out first things first let's meet our specialist Donnie Walsh is our ruin he's an all-american here he thinks very highly of himself and his skills Alessandro Castillo is outrider a hunter and she literally grew up hunting people in the favelas David Wilkes is Prophet. He's a breathing piece of cybernetic augmentation and pretty much the poster boy of what Augs can do. Aaron Baker is Battery and she's friends with Ruin, an All-American as well, and she actually has armor named Murica, just adding to that All-American feel here. He Zen Zen is Seraph and she's 54i born and bred, and she sprouts out things about the 54i despite them being disbanded campaign, which I always thought was very odd, but we'll get to that in a second. Tavo Rojas is no and he's been hunting down traitors, but he's also kind of a secretive one. There's not really too much here for them. Experimental War Robot EWR-115 is Reaper, and it's a robot built for intelligence, gathering information on our characters, but that's something we'll save here for a little bit. Spectre is actually unknown, and a lot is unknown about Spectre, though it is kind of inferred that Spectre may in fact be a woman based off of some dialogue, but it's still unclear as to that. And finally, we have Firebreak, who is Christoph Hajak, a psychopath from the Czech Republic, and he loved fire since he was a child. Now, I'm not going to go into massive detail about all these guys. There is seriously a ton to discuss for each one of them, but if you guys want more of the backstory and want to know exactly what's up with each one of these, I'll definitely make a little Little series out of it in detail each one here for you guys but just let me know down in the comments what you guys want here from this but that out of the way we can infer a couple things here based off of dialogue between each of these characters and their transmissions ruin and battery are part of the same squad and they're both Americans actually the only ones at that they both hate Spectre and went to Millis and went to military school together. Now, also along in that little group is Nomad and Outrider, who are a part of their squad. For the sake of these stories, Seraph is actually really important to the time frame of this. We'll get to exactly why in just a second, but in a transmission, she says that she was 17 when she met the late Gomen and his sister Zulan. That's actually huge because we know exactly where this then takes place. It takes place after the mission entitled Provocation, where we kill the first Gomen, and before the mission Vengeance, where we kill Zulan. So with that being said, it kind of sounds like our multiplayer is an extension of campaign here, but with campaigns still going on. So where are we going with this? Well, let's talk a little bit more broad. Why are there nine specialists? The Hero Transmission actually says that these are all being covertly recorded by a voice disguised spy. It's said that this spy also reports back to their air quote boss with intel on the eight other reference specialists and in which he calls good candidates for the program. Now what the hell is the program? Nine specialists, one spy, eight candidates, five Winslow Accord members, one 54i member, one free robot he's used to gather intel, one CDP member, and the last variable of this spy that makes up our characters. Now going back to Reaper, he's a robot that's used for gathering intel. Maybe he's the spy, but he's actually not. He's being used by the spy and being taken advantage of to get even more intel on our specialist here with this. Now, where is this all leading then? Transcendence. No, not a Johnny Depp movie that tanked, but the ability to upload your consciousness to a computer and cheat death. In our story, we know that we're in an age where everyone can elongate life and make it better with DNI and augmentation, but what about actually living forever? Our characters are the most elite soldiers in the world, and of course, they want to live forever. With this program mentioned, they can. Now, coming back into the time frame of this, where exactly this plays on, this is going to go back to Seraph and where we can think about our time frame. Our specialist minds were uploaded to this program somewhere during the period of the campaign, which is something very interesting to note is that our multiplayer takes place during the campaign, not after. 
that's something that is often inferred with other titles that campaign is the ending here and then multiplayer picks up say as an extension afterwards now we have the general idea that multiplayer was a simulation based off of some of profits description and some audio cues that we had a while back but we have it fully confirmed here in the backstory this is something that is actually confirmed it's nothing that is still theorizing this is confirmed. What this program is, is a combat simulation. Our specialist minds are uploaded to this sim and they can do what they love doing the most, killing. So what's the point of this? Well, the program will then go to the highest bidder. Simple as that. It's a way that people can train for real combat accurately because how else would you be ready for battle with every enemy in real life having the full intention of killing you other than to simply actually go into a program immersing yourself in a field of soldiers who loves doing nothing more than killing. It's a perfect plan here to ready soldiers for what they might see in the battlefield. So who's running this? Well, it's kind of unclear. It could be the CIA who we saw in the campaign run illegal testing already, and perhaps the Winslow Accord may be doing something with this. Something that is still very unclear here, and it's a nice little gap that Treyarch leaves us wondering and wanting more here for this. Now, to further fit the claim that this is all run in a simulation and something that is already happening here, we need to understand that some of these specialists would never work together. 54i, CDP, and Winslow Accord? Our campaign tells us that that's a huge no-no. And despite inner specialist hatred from bios, they all fight alongside each other here in multiplayer, further proving the point that they have become nothing more than AIs with no minds, no hearts, no nothing after being uploaded to the program simulation. They're all just there to do what they focus on, killing. So. That's it in a nutshell here. That's our multiplayer. That's the hidden backstory between all of this and a really good one, I think, at that. It really wants me to know more of who's running this, really, and what more can we see here out of this. That's something we might see in DLC, but as for right now, we don't know exactly. So that's going to wrap this one up here, though, today, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you think down there in the comment section down below. Did you guys think this was a simulation all along like I did here and perhaps even get a little bit blown away by the actual description of the backstory here? With this. Love to hear your thoughts and also leave your thoughts down if you want to see more specialist bios, in depth stuff here covering each and every single one of them. Love to hear your thoughts. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, we should have a like rating down below. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. My name is Nicola Espresso. I will see you guys later. Take care and peace.